my lip light, my lip. It is on the It's your girl Jay and today I'm here with some books that I personally think are very underrated and I don't talk about enough on my channel so I'm here to do that today. All of these books I gave a 4.5 out of 5 stars except for one of them which I gave a 4 but I have a reason why it's only a 4 not a 4.5 so I'm counting it as my underrated book. So without further ado let us get started. The first book that I think is super underrated, I do not hear enough people talk about, is Nice Try Jane Sinner by Leanne Olk. It follows a girl named Jane Sinner who gets expelled from high school. She decides that she is going to apply for community college. She ends up joining a student-run reality TV show called House of Orange, and it's basically the story of all the shenanigans that she gets up to, but it is so funny. The humor in this book was, like, what my humor is so I really enjoyed it. I loved Jane as a main character but also all of the other characters in the book just have such unique personalities and they just really make the whole story shine. I would definitely recommend checking this out if you want a book that is very funny but also deals with some pretty serious topics like suicide and mental illness. There's a lot of that in this book but it's handled in a very respectful manner. And I just really think that this is a very, very underrated book because I literally have heard like three people talk about it on booktube. So I think that a lot more people need to read it and talk about it because I want to know other people's thoughts as well. The next book I actually have a full review of if you guys want to check it out, you are more than welcome to. It is All of This Is True by Legia de Penelflor, and this follows four teenagers who become obsessed with a author named Fatima Rowe. They end up befriending this author and she begins to manipulate them in order to write her next novel, but they don't know that they're getting manipulated. And then the novel releases and a big secret comes out and it's like, is it going to ruin their friendship? What's happening? Oh my god. But it's like such a twisty turny book and I really think it's underrated. I really enjoyed it because the formatting is all told in like emails and pictures and text messages and it's all like mixed media, which I personally love in books. It also uses like the present day interweaving with the fictional world that this author is writing about these four teenagers and it just flows so nicely. I ended up taking off half a star because I was able to tell like the big twist, but I still really enjoyed it. Usually that makes me not enjoy the book as much, but I was a huge fan of this right from the first page, so definitely recommend as an underrated book. The next book that I have is School for Psychics by Casey Archer. This follows Teddy Cannon, who is very good at the casino games in Vegas. She ends up getting a run-in with the law, and that's when she discovers that she is psychic. So she gets an invitation to join this psychic school, which trains psychics in order to work for the government. And then some secret mission comes along which changes everything and it's like the story of that. I've always been really interested in psychics and I also really love magic schools in books so the combination of both of them was like right up my alley when I heard about this book. I was very excited. I contacted the publisher and I was like please send it to me and they were kind enough to send it to me. I think I read this in 2018 and I remember really enjoying it. There's a lot of different characters in this book that have a lot of unique flaws that you can't help but love. I also really enjoyed the different types of psychics because it's not all just one type. There's multiple different versions of psychic abilities in this book and the way that they like interact with each other is really cool. Teddy was a great main character. She has the wittiest banter with all of the characters that are just so funny to read and I just highly recommend if you like magical schools and psychics because it was a really good time. The next book is the one that I gave 4 out of 5 stars instead of 4.5 but there is a good reason for it but it is This Is Our Story by Ashley Elston. This book follows the River Point boys who go up one day to the cabin to go hunting. There are five River Point boys but only four return from the cabin that day because one of them is shot but nobody will say who the shooter was. And then it also follows a girl named Kate who is very invested in this murder mystery for reasons that she'd rather not make public. And it's just like the story of Kate trying to figure out what happened to Grant and who shot him. And it is just such a twisty turny book. Right from the beginning I was like really hooked in the story. I could not tell 
who I wanted to trust and who I didn't trust and I just could not figure out which of the Riverpoint boys was the shooter. It was just really entertaining. I ended up giving it a 4 out of 5 stars because the big like reveal at the end was just very anticlimactic in my opinion so it was like kind of disappointing at the end. It was just that one part that I was like mm, I don't know how I feel about that but it wasn't like the true end of the book so then it got better afterwards again but because of that I just couldn't give it a 4.5 but yeah I definitely recommend if you want like a fun little fast-paced murder and mystery it was and the final book that I have that I think is super underrated is The Blood Sisters by Jane Corey three young schoolgirls are on their way to class one day but 20 minutes later one of them is dead and now this book takes place 15 years later where Allison is in desperate need of a job so she decides to take an art job at the local prison. Kitty is living in a group home where she has no memory of the accident that happened 15 years prior. Once Allison begins working at this prison, she quickly realizes that someone is watching her and she does not feel safe because somebody is out for revenge. And it's like the story of that. The story starts off very slowly, but it is necessary for the buildup. The twists and turns in this book are so well done. It was really interesting to see the perspective of both Kitty and Allison because their two storylines flowed so well together to make the big picture in the end. I think that the two intersecting timelines was a great addition to the story to help unfold the mystery of the accident all those years ago. It just made it a lot more intriguing because you were getting those two different perspectives. I did end up dropping half a star because of the predictability of the story, but it was still very entertaining, so... I still really enjoyed it. I definitely think it's one that's very underrated and that a lot more people should read because there were a lot of twists and turns I didn't see coming, but then there were a couple that were very obvious right from the beginning. So, I mean, it was kind of a good mixture of the two, but I definitely think that this is one that is highly underrated and that a lot more people, if they're into thrillers, should definitely check out. All right, everybody, so that was what were my underrated books that I decided to talk about this time around. I definitely think that if you get the chance, you should definitely check these books out because they're a lot of fun. Let me know down below a couple of your underrated books that you love, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Yeah.